Evening, ladies and gentlemen. Evening, TEDx, Seapoint, 2012. It's an honor and privilege to be here tonight. I would like to say a really big thanks to you guys, every single one of you sitting here tonight. Um, it's a very special audience that we've got here. It's a very special occasion looking after it, uh, respecting and um, appreciation of the ocean and, and the ocean that provides us with so much. I would like you guys to give a big, warm round of applause for Mike and Linda, who I think have done a phenomenal job here tonight. Well done, guys. Well done. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I was going to start off the speech a little differently um, today, but I just wanted to just, I was driving to the waterfront this morning and just thinking about how, um, how I've been involved with the ocean and everything that I do, besides when I'm sitting in my office working really hard, paying the bills, is all about being a part of it, flowing with it, appreciating it, and being out in it. And if it wasn't for the ocean, everything that I do and me standing here would not exist. So I think it's one of those things. We live in an amazing part of the world. We live in Cape Town, the most beautiful city in the world, surrounded by the best beaches and beautiful waves on the planet. And I think sometimes when you're walking down that Nurek Beach, and you look at that postcard view, you just, you know, it's all inspiring and we need to make sure that it's around for generations to come. So good morning or good afternoon. <laughs> My name is Chris Burdish. I'm, um, I'm a guy like everyone else. I, I run my own business. I work really hard. I pay the bills. I pay my taxes, sometimes my speeding fines. <laughs> and, um, but on the other side of things, I also, um, I've got an addiction and passion for chasing and tracking down and riding the biggest liquid mountains that uh, Mother Nature can throw at me. Um, some people would consider it to be a, a blessing. I, sometimes I look at it as a curse. Um, at the end of the day, it's all about remembering this little guy. This little guy we have in all of us. He's the little kid inside. And it's the story of that little guy and the photo of his energy, his, his, his big ideas, his big dreams, and the, his ideas of possibility and, and visions of grandeur when we're all growing up. And this is a story of dreaming big, but most importantly, fighting for those dreams, never letting them slip, never giving up, and, and focusing and persevering when all the odds are stacked against you until the universe really has no other option but to let him succeed. And this is a story about fighting for your dreams and making sure that no matter what, dreams in this world can still be become a reality. Um, I grew up, I was very fortunate to grow up with um, a father that was a true waterman, an inspiration, and a legend. And he taught me to sail, he taught me to windsurf, to water ski when I was probably three years old. And um, he taught me to love, and, love and, and appreciate the ocean, to understand it, to read it, but most importantly, to respect it. I was also lucky to have two amazing brothers, both my brothers that are older than me. Um, they've taught me to be focused, to be driven, to be determined, and to never give up, more so because if I did, I'd get left behind. <laughs> I've also been very fortunate to have friends that I've met from around the world in all my travels, sailing across the oceans and surfing all around the world. And those, those friends, have, some of them have become like family. And if it wasn't for those people, both my friends, my brothers, and my father and my family, I wouldn't be here and have achieved everything that I have today. So this is just a story. Let me see if I can get my slides right. Um, basically, I've, 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 tried to agree, I've tried to achieve everything that I have on what I call the Dreamweaver's Code. The Dreamweaver's Code is basically about taking your goals and turning them into dreams and then taking those dreams and turning them into reality. And the way I've always done that is by making sure that once I decide to do something, I can see it. I can see it so vividly clear. And once I can, once I can see it, then I can start dreaming about it. And when I, when, when, I, when I can dream it and I can see it, then I can start believing it. And once I can truly believe it, then I can start practicing for it. I can believe and I can practice. And once I start practicing, I can plan. And I can plan for the worst and hope for the best. And when I can plan, then I can make sure that no matter what obstacles come my way, obstacles are only there as opportunities in disguise. And mistakes are only there just to be able to help you along the way. Because it's not about how you fall. It's about how you get back up and get back on that horse and give you the inspiration to go even harder and to try even harder. Because there's only a mistake is only a mistake unless you make it twice. So 
It's all about staying focused on those goals. There'll always be things along your way that'll set you off your, off your task. Make sure that you've got focus on those goals. If you don't have focus, it's like sailing in the ocean without a compass. How do you know where you're going if you've got, if you've got no direction? So making sure that you've got your focus, you've got your goals, you manage and channel your fear. Channeling your fear is the most important thing. Don't, don't let it make you panic. Panic will just make your worst dreams become a reality. Use fear. Fear is your friend. And once you've done that, stay determined and persevere. And persevere against all odds. Because at the end of the day, you're always going to have things that are going to be standing in your way. And there are always going to be obstacles that are going to come in your way. But when every else, everyone else is going to quit, that's when you've got to persevere. Because the universe is out there to help you succeed. It wants you to succeed. Sometimes it just pushes you to see how far you're going to go to be able to achieve those goals and dreams. And most of all, and lastly, but definitely not least, never, ever, ever, ever give up. Okay, this is a little clip just to show you about surfing some big waves around the world in all different oceans. <laughs>